Hey guys, this is Iconics from Appleit.org. So it's been a while since my last video. I've uh, just been a bit busy, guys, on some uh, new projects lined up. But yeah, I'm here today to demonstrate the new uh, Appleit iOS app. So it's currently at version 3. We're still in beta. It's at beta version 5. It's universal, so it works on your iPads and your iPhones. Okay, uh, so let me show you what this is about. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is the iOS 7 look and feel. Okay, so it's been totally fully revamped styling wise. The whole GUI has been updated. So it's still got the same sort of format. You've got your new and noteworthy across the top. You've got your top paid apps. You've got your top three. Just under that you've got your tracks management okay so this is any apps that you track you can do this via the website or the app itself okay you just slide to untrack the apps in there okay next tab down is going to be your app edit id okay so if you're signed in it's going to show your email address of your app edit id okay if you're not signed in it's going to say you can sign in okay so this is where it's going to show you your premium status if you've got premium you can enable your direct installer okay I'm just going to leave that off for the moment, just for the next download demonstration. Okay, it also shows your link devices there at the bottom. Okay, so we've got a search functionality, a standard. I'm just going to search anything radio. So you're going to notice there's a lot of speed improvements within the um, iOS app. The images load up pretty much instantaneously, okay? So there's no more waiting. Uh, none of these images are cached because I've just reinstalled the application as well. Um, and plus, I've never searched radio before, so none of them images are cached on there. They're just loading instantly from the server. Okay, so we've got a new app center. Okay, so this is where you're going to download your apps, it's going to show you progress and it's going to show you downloaded apps, but we'll go into that in more detail. Okay, settings tab, you've got your remove, I choose my data, your auto delete, you've got clear cookies, uh, clear images cache, there's a restart, the X server. Okay, I'm going to talk about X server a little bit later in the video. Okay, so you've got your version and your change log as standard. So this is just going to list all the changes from the different various versions okay you've also got an updates tab the notifications button at the bottom there okay so it's going to show you what installed version you've got what the updated version is your categories Okay, so we've got some nice screenshots, guys. Again, the images are loading instantly. Descriptions below. Okay, we've also got a more by this developer tab now. Okay, so any apps on the app edit database by the same developer, you can see. As usual, we've got a report app. So if you see any dead links or anything like that, you can report. But be aware, guys, that you can be banned for uh, fake reporting. Okay, you've got your links. So your different versions, your archive versions, your most recent at the top, of course. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate downloading WhatsApp Messenger. Okay, so I've not got my direct installer. So when I click this, it's going to start downloading in the App Center. Yeah, I think I started that downloading twice. Okay. Ah, there you go. You can just see the first version finished downloading. So they've got nice iOS 7 style um, notification messages. I'm just going to delete that because it's already downloaded once. So then you flick into your apps list and you can see it there. Cause it's downloaded. So that you click that, you've got an instruction to install, delete, delete all. And then we've got the X again, which I'll mention later. So tap install again. And that is then going to install onto your desktop nice and simple. 
Okay, now I'm just going to show you the difference between that and direct install. Okay, so we'll delete that. We'll go into my app edit account, which is on the main screen. View account. Okay, so I'm going to enable the direct installer now. So we're going to go back and we use the same link. WhatsApp Messenger. It's now going to ask me to install. Now, instead of downloading to the app, it's going to install automatically on the desktop. Okay, there you go. So, nice and fast download and install all in the background, straight on your home screen. Sort of like the traditional App Store would do it. Okay, onto the iPad. So there you go guys, full native iPad support. Well, we've updated the iOS app 3 now to fully support all your iPad devices. Okay, so it's the exact same layout as the, the iPhone app, okay? A few differences. Okay, so your app lists now, you get a nice big screenshot. It's all with inside a big sort of rounded app tile, which looks quite cool. Again, the speed improvements are immense. Uh, the pictures, screenshots are just loading up instantaneously. Okay, so you've got your tracking app there. It shows a nice little tick in the circle. So the iOS 7 um, GUI is really nice. Okay, so you've got your search again. Search bar down at the bottom this time as opposed to the top. I'm just going to search radio again. Okay, so nice and fast results again. You can see all the images loading as we're scrolling down. So yeah, I've seen it again. The only difference here is because it's in um, landscape, you've got your um, you've got your download list next to your downloaded list, so to speak. Okay, you've got an updates tab as well. Again, that places a little notification next to your updates so you know how many you've got. View your app edit account. Again, show you your premium status, whether direct install is enabled, your other link devices, and so on. Again, I'm going to download this with, our, with direct installer. So that's going to go straight to my uh, home screen. Just start installing in a minute. Okay, so that's installed. Let's go back into the app. Okay, again, so you've got your nice screenshots. You swipe them across. You see how fast they're loading almost instantly. You've got more by this developer as well in the iPad. All the functionality is the same throughout the devices. We've got our categories, pops out a nice little window in there. Again, just notice how fast the images are loading, uh, so much faster than previous um, versions of the app. Let's take the uh, direct installer off now to show you an example of the normal download. So again, we use the mega link. You can see that notification there on the app center. So we click on that, and there. Oops, just finished downloading again. Your nice little drop down notifications, iOS 7 style, and there it is in your downloaded app list. So you can delete or install. I'll just delete because we've already installed that. Okay, guys. So that's that's your iPad uh, version of the App Edit iOS app. Um, again, it is in beta, guys, so do expect a few bugs. Uh, there's a few features that aren't yet enabled. Uh, the X server, which I'm going on to speak about now. Okay, so you've heard me mention the X server. So this is the newest feature that we're going to be enabling. It's not enabled right as yet, but it is basically sharing on local Wi-Fi okay a lot of guys have been asking for this we've heard it Instillus offered this can you offer it and here we go it's going to be here soon um, that is just a GUI demonstration at the moment just to show you how it will work but it will be enabled 
for the final release of AppEdit iOS 3 application. Just want to finish giving a massive thank you to Zorro. You've done a brilliant job again, mate. Uh, thanks to all the AppEdit staff. And it won't be a video without mentioning our good friend, the most unique, uh, Dry Your Eyes, mate. 